Hello, my lovely Libra. Anybody celebrating their birthday today? I'm wishing you a beautiful and blessed day. I'm also wishing you a year of prosperity, peace, pals, friendships, fun, laughter. Laughter for you. You need a lot of laughter in your life. All right, so get out and explore and have fun and have a beautiful, beautiful year. If you um, do not know yet, I am running a Libra season birthday special for you guys here on YouTube. I'm giving away a total of five free personal readings, one each week throughout Libra season. We are about to enter into week three, so that still gives you two, three more opportunities. Third week, fourth week, fifth week, okay, to win one of these free personal readings. If you go to my channel, then you find my community tab, which is there. If you look under any video, it'll say home or on my channel, it'll say home, videos, playlist. Scroll over to the side and you will see the community and then um, click on that and then it will show you an image. There's a post there. There will be a picture that you will need to click on in order to open it up and see all the rules, okay? How to enter, what you win, how it works, everything, okay? So make sure you do that so you get a chance to win. I wish you the best of luck and I hope it's you that wins. Also, um, if you sign up for my newsletter, my email list on my website, which my website address is, there's a link on my channel or in the description box where it will take you directly to my website. On there, if you sign up for my email list, my newsletter, whatever you want to call it, I will only send you things out a couple of times a month, but there is a special deal right now celebrating Libra season. And just so you know, you can take advantage of that more than once during Libra season only, okay? So get yourself on that email list, and if you've already signed up and you want to take advantage of this opportunity and you didn't already or you have already, it doesn't matter, take advantage of it, all right? I'm trying to celebrate my lovely, lovely Libras as much as I can throughout your season. All right, let's get into your reading. Let's start by rolling the zodiac die and seeing what signs you have active in your birth chart or that you happen to be dealing with. Libras, you have just rolled very strong Aries energy. You also have Leo off to the right. You have Virgo up top, Cancer to the left, Gemini to the bottom left, and Taurus to the bottom right. Let's go ahead and see what your message is. Now, I am going to put in a little bit here that I am still waiting for Hurricane Milton to come through my area in South Central Florida. Uh, it should be hitting sometime between around 8 p.m. tonight. It is now 1 o'clock in the afternoon. We're getting a lot of rain. Finally, we haven't had any rain until now. So if you email me um, over the next day or two and I don't respond, please be patient with me. I may have lost internet. I'm hoping for the best. Hoping for the best and that there's no interruption. But that's why I'm doing these videos now in case I am not able to do so. All right, let's see what we have here for you, my loves. What have you got for your overall energy for this beautiful morning? Ten of Wands. You're just about to finish off a project that you took on. You willingly took something on. You said, all right, you know, this will benefit me. This will benefit somebody else. It was, it was difficult. It wasn't easy. I mean, some of it was not, you know, like, really challenging but you had to work at it you had to put some energy in on it absolutely so that's good all right let's see what we have here as an obstacle i am hearing you're just about there you're just about to complete whatever this is because you've got the ten of wands here you're just about to crest the hill the the end is in sight but again, this is like a minor thing. So I'm getting something like deciding, um, offering to babysit for somebody when you don't really, um, you don't feel the energy for babysitting. Or, you know, you thought it would be okay. It's just at the end, okay? That time, whatever it is that you put in, um, it's just about over. It's not a challenge. It just feels like it was extra, extra to your normal life. Um you know, maybe having to take care of the neighbor's dog for a week or something like that. It's not a challenge. You did it, but that thing is just about over. 
I think you get what I mean. Let's see if there's a challenge to this. Nope, you will be celebrating. You'll be jumping in the air and kicking your heels. <laughs> Whatever this is, okay, and I, I, I started to say the word burden, and it's not a burden. It's not, okay? You chose to do this. Um, and it's not, you don't see it as a burden. However, you're, when you're done with this, you're going to go off and do something nice for yourself. Okay. But right now you're like, ah, oh, yep. Yeah, you know, I got to keep plugging along. Got to keep doing what I got to keep doing here. <laughs> All right. And keep in mind, it can be about any situation in your life. What I give you is just examples. All right, so let's go ahead and see what you're thinking about with this situation. Look at you go. Balance, justice card here. Okay, that's your card, Libra. Balance, the truth, smart, and restitution. Making things right again. Or um, Restitution just means making it what it was. Okay, so if you spent $50, you get $50 back. Okay, um, if you, whatever it comes back in equal amount it's not more it's not less it's restitution okay uh there's beauty and harmony here too so on your mind are all these beautiful positive energies here all right let's go ahead and see what's at the foundation of this situation well that's a tower that didn't actually come out in your reading you've been changing the towers over to queen of wands so i'm hoping that the queen of wands is your energy positivity or somebody around you that's very supportive let's go ahead and see what the foundation of this situation is oh look at this the six of cups reconnecting restitution spending time together again kindness all right so that's the whole overall energy here doing something nice for somebody else and I do feel like that's what this is for most of you, doing some sort of kindness for a neighbor, for a friend, for your loved one. You know, taking on extra responsibilities, maybe paying uh, for somebody else to do something, you will get that money back. But the foundation is that energy of caring, connection, kindness. All right, so that's the Six of Cups. Let's go ahead and see what your immediate future looks like. I have to warn y'all, I'm, I'm ready for a big change. Like when I come back from this hurricane, I've got a big desire to change up my table, where it's at, what the view is. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do anything new or not, but that's where I'm at today. So if you see something totally different or something that reverts back to my original, uh, kind of that, that's kind of where I'm wanting to go. The very first few videos I ever did. Okay, get back to my theme of that. Just to give you a heads up. So don't be looking for the purple all the time or the orange or, you know, if you're on my other channel, the red, the green, or the blues. Just look for something new on this one. I'll, I think I'll leave the others the way it is for a little bit. All right, let's see what we have here is your immediate future. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, that is awesome. Ultimate happiness. You know, this is about something long term. This is something of value for very long term. It's not short term. It's, it's because you're committed to this relationship, this friendship, this business, this job, this neighbor, whatever it is. There's a long-term happiness that's going to come out of this and stability, okay? Absolute stability. So you go from cups, which is all about your emotional state, doing those things. This may pay off, like financially, this may benefit you unexpectedly, okay? Here we have that rainbow. Rainbows only come up when it's raining and the sun are out at the same time. And that, that is like we're always caught by surprise when that happens. And that's how I feel about this Ten of Pentacles. Like there is a surprise coming your way that maybe somebody that you've taken care of something for gives you a little extra, okay? Or gives you something that you did not expect at all. All right, let's see what else we have here. Boy, what a beautiful immediate future. 
that is awesome. Let us take a look at your past influences here. What have we got going on as far as the past affecting this situation? All oh, these crazy cards. You have the change, okay? So something changed. Somebody's freedom was a little bit limited here, maybe. Um, a purposeful action, it says. A voluntary challenge. Something that you decided to do. All right, it was through focus. You knew you would have to focus on this. You knew you were going to be determined with this. But it does lead to victory and success here. And you knew it would, okay? When you took on this situation, this challenge, Whatever it is, you knew that it would end well for you and for the other person. That's why you did it. Look, the magician on the bottom of the deck. Definitely things coming to you. Happening in a beautiful way for you. Manifesting. Let's go ahead and see how you view yourself dealing with this situation. King of Pentacles. And I just saw that card go back in the deck a couple minutes ago. Uh yourself as a community leader okay you're generous and you're reliable it says here material wealth i really do think some of you are going to come into some sort of blessing unexpected blessing but definitely you are um somebody who can take charge do things help out okay you are generous and you're very reliable so that's beautiful and that's why somebody comes to you you know and says, hey, can you take care of my dog or cat? Can you loan me a hundred bucks until next week? You know, they know that they can count on you. And if for some, some reason something doesn't go just right, everything will be fine in the, the long run. All right, let's see what's happening in your environment. I just realized we have the emperor facing... Uh, this way oh he just turned over okay okay I got it emperor energy here divine masculine stability and security protection and strength absolutely so your environment is very strong very stable very well balanced okay so I again I am getting a very close relationship here like I said it could even be a neighbor that you are extremely close to it could be a job you are extremely committed to. You have a lot of heart space for the people at work or the work that you do. It could be your passion. But there's a lot of stability around what you're doing here. Beautiful. Absolutely love this. Love, love, love this. You've got one, two, three major arcanas. Plus, you've got the king of pentacles. You've got the four of wands and the ten of pentacles. Man. <laughs> realized suddenly the ten of the double tens here which means it's balanced out and then you're balanced with a six on the other side <laughs> love it all right let's see what's coming up in your subconscious what is happening in your subconscious my love what have we got for you ace of wands and it says here, passionate start, a divine spark, primal energy. That's the connection that you have with whoever this is or whatever this is. All right. And you're, when you're resting, when you're sleeping, you're feeling good. You're feeling that, uh, that inspiration. You feel capable of anything. So your subconscious is definitely focused on positivity, uh, creation, connection beautiful beautiful energy there in your subconscious so you're not worried about things you are seeking those new beginnings those new exciting ideas and putting them to good use all right um i am hearing for some of you this is your nighttime dreams about your partner okay you and your partner together so let's see what else we have here as your final outcome. What is your most likely outcome here? The Seven of Pentacles. Steady progress. She looks pretty tired. 
<laughs> she <laughs> she looks pretty tired. Kind of like, um, it's daytime, but whoop, let me just rest here. <laughs> let me just go to sleep. Um, I'm getting, taking a step back, thinking things through a little bit, deciding what you want to continue with, where you want to take things next. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You make sure you're resting up, my loves. You're going to need that energy. <laughs> and you will continue down the road, the path that you are on here. You're successfully changing. You're, you know, whatever it was you took on, you're closing that out. This is beautiful. Ten of Cups, contentment, a happy life, and emotional wisdom. Emotional peace, stability, happiness, and joy. I absolutely love this for you. Let's get you an angel number here. What a beautiful reading. I, I, this is a really good one. Really good one. What do we got here? Look at that. 999, the release. Your angel whispers, endings are nothing more than new beginnings in disguise. But an ending does symbolize the closure of one door and the opening of another. The whisper here is reminding you to release and allow, have some fun, feel that connection and flow. It is in the release where the magic actually happens. Your positive affirmation is, doors open for me where others may be closing, bringing about the transformation to me through my mind, my body, and my soul. I love that. All right, we're going to get you a blessings card here let's see what blessings are coming your way so that's a beautiful energy there of release of letting go contentment happiness you've got double sevens triple tens and you've got the 11 which is a double one and then you got triple nines so things are definitely progressing you go from double sevens to triple nines to triple tens to an 11 that is beautiful what an amazing reading. All right, sunrise. Let's see what it says here. New creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. <laughs> I absolutely love that for you. Love, love, love it. Let's go ahead and get you a spirit animal here. We've got the ravens, Hoogan and Moonin on the table again. Let's see what comes out here for you. They like to go off stage and gather up all the information and then they come back and they're departing it through the readings or directly to you or directly to me. All right, let's see what we've got here for a spirit animal. We have the black jaguar, old soul. Walk through your life, Libra, with confidence and grace. You do have the power from beyond this world. Focus on what you truly want and you can create your reality. Beautiful message there. Thank you, Hoogan, for holding that one down for us. We're going to get you an eternal crystal here. This message is good. I'm going to keep going with it. Beautiful message, beautiful energy. You are an old soul. I just heard Black Moon Lilith. So some of you may have something to do with that. It might be in your birth chart like it's in mine. It's in one of my houses. Um, also, I'm hearing something about a solar eclipse. All right, so keep that in mind. I'm sure you understand it if, if, it's con if you're connecting at all. Calcite, calmness, all of the chakras aligned, okay? And I've moved my calcite out of my reach, unfortunately. But basically, this is a calcite bowl. And it's meant for recharging my gemstones and my jewelry and cleansing and so on and so forth. Let me see what the book says for you. Uh, maybe. The book should be right there with the cards. Oh my goodness, it must be in the tray somewhere other than where the cards were. I guess we're not getting any more information. 
on the eternal crystals. That's just weird. Wonky wonky. All right, now I'm going to have to look up where the books are. Give me just a second. And of course, the book was right in front of my eyes, but it's a smallish book. Yeah, it was wedged between two tall books. All right, so we have Calcite, which is card number eight. And it says here, Calcite's message for you is to calm yourself and go with the flow. Try not to fight against the flow of things. Take time now to relax and recharge. In life, there are times when it's difficult to be calm, but it's important that you go ahead and give it a try to release any pent-up emotions such as stress or anger. It's not good for you to bottle these things up or repress these feelings. Once you release the stressful emotions, you can then focus on calming yourself and feeling refreshed. You can calm your mind through meditation, sleep, listening to music, reconnecting with nature, all different ways. You know which way is best for you. And if you don't, try different things to see what works to help you calm down. Release stress in your physical body too through exercise, stretching, or walking, or drinking water. That's a, the first thing I always do when I feel stressed. Go get a drink of water because now I'm doing something and it's as simple as bringing uh, energy to my nerves, which clears up your brain, which helps with clear thinking. It also calms your nerves. So keep that in mind. Just if you don't know what to do when you're stressed, go and sip some water. I think you've watched enough movies where whenever somebody's stressed out or worried, they either hand them liquor, which I don't recommend, or they hand them water. You want some water? You need some water? Yeah, let's get you some water because it calms the nerves. Okay, so when you are calm, your energy lifts. You are more positive and better able to connect more clearly to the spirit world and your intuition. You can also attract and manifest more things into your life if you are open, relaxed, and calm. When you're stressed, you're shutting everything down and closing doors. All right, so calcite comes in many different colors. Each color is associated with a different chakra. Calcite helps to reduce stress and release fears it is also a grounding stone which helps you to open up and go with the flow and i just realized i told you the wrong thing this bowl is not calcite this is selenite this is selenite all right it's a recharging but anyways i do have some calcite there's your message there for you that was important about releasing letting go okay closing out the door, letting the burdens go. You've, you've accomplished whatever you're trying to do here. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have for you. Is there anything else? Yes, I'm hearing something else here. I heard it. All right, we'll get you a runestone. Let's see what comes out here for you with this. Ur, or rock. The meaning of this ruin is your inner strength is coming into effect in your daily life. Beautiful. Consider your actions carefully and act with responsibility and you will have the power to overcome any obstacles. You will get through whatever challenges you have chosen to take on or that you may face unwillingly. The reversed message of this is you may feel disempowered by others who are mirroring your own low self-esteem. True strength, true strength comes from within you, not from other people, but from within you. All right, the tree associated with this rune stone is the birch, B-I-R-C-H, the birch tree, the peeling bark. I've, I look at that as a beautiful tree that just sheds and releases unwanted things so there can be new growth expansion beautiful message there all right what else have we got here for you one card from the antiquities We have the pillars, so stand fast, okay? Um, I am hearing Pilar, Pia, Colony, Colin. 
Shelby, Shelby, um, Lippert, and Riley. I'm hearing something else. Lil Lilith. I'm hearing Lilith again. All right, so stand fast, stand true, keep in alignment. Okay, you've got the pillars. These are the pillars in the um, that we see in the High Priestess card. So that's beautiful. All right, my loves, I hope you've enjoyed this message. I have to tell you it was 2525 on the timer when I just looked up, which is seven and seven, which we know. Good luck for you coming in here, and you already have two sevens, one and two, so you just got uh, two more. Four sevens across the board. I love it. All right. You know what to do. Please do me the favor and kindness of tickle tapping, booping, or zapping that like button. I really could use the extra views and so on and likes and comments right now due to the fact of Hurricane Milton coming through and so many people in this state being affected by that. So my views are down a little bit and I'm not complaining. It's life. We have to support those people who are going through these uh, storms and bad weather. The people up in North Carolina is still going through it. Down here, they've we've just barely gotten over uh, Hurricane Helene. Okay, so if you can help out in any way, shape, or form to keep this channel uh, viable in front of people, going out to new people, I would be eternally grateful to you. All right, so comments, likes, shares. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't. And uh, if you are interested in a personal reading, please email me and I will send you all the details. And don't forget about those other things I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. All right. I love you to pieces. Take care until our energy crosses again. Peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.